you know, I'm gonna make a 12 step color wheel with watercolor. And this is a cup of water. So when you start, you need water, a paintbrush, and your watercolors. I have a big palette here. And then a rag. Okay, that's for rinsing out your paint or cleaning your paintbrush in between each time you uh, splinch colors, which is very important. So I'm using watercolor paper. You probably got the sheets for me today or have some from our last pickup of supplies. So that's the heavier sheet of paper. It's white and it's textured. So it's, it's gonna be your thickest paper that you have, okay? So without further ado, grab your watercolor paper, make yourself a little puddle here. You're gonna make yourself another little puddle here and then another little puddle here and this is going to be a tight cozy color wheel so excited i'm going to start with my lightest color yellow drop in the yellow next i'm going to drop in my red into this one here now what i'm doing in between each time is i'm rinsing my brush squeegee squeegee should be nice and clean okay and now I am going to make a, another little puddle here. Okay. Oops. Little puddle here. And make a line going from here into this. And so what I've done is I've made my, what should be orange, Looking a little more uh, light red than it is orange. So I'm going to punch up just a little more orange in here. Okay, next thing I'm going to do, okay, I think that's, that's a little more of an orange that I want. Sometimes it doesn't always work out exactly like you want it, but uh, so I'm going to take a look at this and just let the water or the pigments do its thing and blend in. Next thing, I'm gonna grab another little puddle of water. Oops, little puddle of water. And you can see it's just, it's, if you drop the water in, it's gonna wanna move the pigments too. So now I have here, I'm gonna make a red, an orange, yellow, orange. So I'm gonna drop some yellow in here. It's going to be mostly yellow, a little bit of red, and what I want is to scoot this color in. I'm just going to scoot it in, see what happens. Okay, next thing here, this color is going to be a red orange, and I need to just make a tiny little puddle for my red orange. My red orange lost its mojo um, because I didn't leave enough space for him. So I'm gonna put him over here. Make him go right here, right here, right here. Okay, cool. So let's call that, let's call this puddle red orange. Um, okay, next thing I wanna do is I have my red or my blue. I'm gonna put blue in here. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna put some blue into this puddle. And that's just gonna be blue. That's my primary. Got primary, primary. Okay, here we go. I got that. I got my my orange, or not my orange, my yellow. Oh, my colors. Okay, and I'm gonna scoot these colors into each other, and then combine them in the oops, the puddle swatch. Okay. Um, this blue back in here, drawing my brush, a little more orange, a little more yellow. That's going to make my green. Hmm. Okay, 
my next one. I'm going to make add another clean puddle of water, clean puddle of water, so right here. And then that is this yellow and this green is going to make a little channel and it's going to connect into create like a yellow, yellow green. Okay. Next thing, I'm going to make another little puddle of water right there. And that color is going to be like a blue green. So we're making a nice 12 step color wheel. We're getting into what is those tertiary colors. So right here, this is a 12 step color wheel. And now I'm going to make another puddle here. This is going to be my in between puddle. I got this crazy droplet of water that just dropped right there. I'm going to make him, I'm going to push him over here. I'm going to push another one over here. And then I'm going to make another line. And I want to connect the blue and the red to make purple. It's just barely going. Hmm, maybe I can scoot them over. Maybe. I may just need to rat, add, rad, add, add a drop of red. And then I'm going to grab the blue. I'm going to grab another drop of blue and I'm going to let it do its thing. See what happens. I'm going to let that meander for a minute. Hmm, looking all right. Next thing, I'm gonna do another puddle in between this and this. And I'm gonna make another puddle here. Okay. Now, I want this to be red-violet. So I'm grinding my, um, just a bit of blue here. Tiny bit of blue. Tiniest little bit of blue. Let's see what it does. Okay, and now here, this is going to be blue-violet. So we have our violet, and then I'm going to make blue-violet. Oh my gosh, this color wheel is so pretty. It's so pretty. It's the most beautiful color wheel. Um... So I'm going to take this, draw it a little bit. Okay, so that is blue violet. I'm going to go all around here. I'm going to call this my, with the pencil. And I'm going to write 12 step. Color. Wheel. So we got green, yellow, red. That's an R for red. This is a B for blue. This is blue, green. This is blue, violet. And this one here is red, violet. And then this one is violet. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to do these ones over here. So this is going to be yellow green. So I'm going to put YG. And then this is yellow orange. This is O for orange. And then this little bitty bitty guy right here, this little guy, let's not forget about him. He is red orange. Ba -ba -da -da. All good.